Lucky here. Looks like we got ourselves a hero.
I ain't done nothing. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I can. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books and my spells. There's a tranquility. Take a look. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? So, so I so gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. 
<laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment. And a little something else as well. From me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now, you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Yes, for Sithis. And the Night Mother. You are the listener, after all, hmm? So let's not waste any more time. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Watch yourself out there. Order of the Yard. Stop right there. Smart man. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. This city is crawling with Imperial Legion, and you know what? I'm still nervous. Lazy and useless. Lots of Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers. The Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet? I... I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. It's just... Another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. The Gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the Gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Oh well, it's just... I never imagined the Gourmet was a Khajiit. You know, because of all the fur and the potential for getting hair in the... Oh, well, huh. actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Oh, 
just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Ah, of course. I suspected as much. Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe, after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one? Now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you... The Gourmet. Ah! The Potage Le Magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as Emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. 